What is the truth behind our skincare products? Welcome to Life Hello TV. My name is Leanne Oliveira. I am a self mastery and wellness coach for women. Similar to my business on this channel, we cover everything mind, body, and spirit. I really cover things that will bring you more joy, things that will bring you more fulfillment, really bringing um, you know, awareness to self healing, self love, self elevation, you know, through foods that we eat, taking care of our bodies, the products that we put on our bodies, etc. We talk about everything here, everything that's going to bring you closer to your higher self, the best version of yourself, a healthier, happier version of yourself. Today, we're talking about skincare products. So, here we go. So, a little bit about my experience in 2018, I decided to go on a no makeup challenge. So, throughout the whole two 2018 the only product I would use is lipstick just to add on a little sass uh, to my look but other than that I really removed the use of makeup totally and the reason why I did that wasn't really about you know my body and in and, and health um, but really about confidence. Um, I, I noticed that putting on these products on my skin every single day created this illusion of how I looked, um, which caused me to feel a need for it. It created things inside of me that I wanted to deal with. And because of that, um, I completely eliminated it on my life and I dealt with everything I you know, had to deal with. You know, all these negative self-talk that I created and, and all these, you know, harsh words that I would use against myself. I really try to dismantle that throughout this journey. Um, and I, you know, it, was, it has been an incredible journey. My skin actually had, looks a lot healthier. Um, I've suffered with acne my whole life, so just not using the makeup, getting clear. Obviously, the vegan journey also helped. So, you know, my skin is doing a lot better and I feel really good. So now that I'm transitioning back onto thinking, um, you know, do I want to use makeup? How do I feel about makeup? If, you know, my clients ask me about makeup, you know, what are my thoughts on it? You know, what is, um, you know, it's time for me to do some research. So here it is. So the video I'm going to conclude, um, you know, in the best way I can, all the information that I compiled about cosmetics and healthcare. So um, the first place I started with was learning about ingredients. So a lot of the ingredients and in the products that we use, lotion, deodorant, uh, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, all these things have a lot of chemicals in them that we often can't pronounce. We have no idea where they are, although they are labeled organic, natural, herb, um, you know, herbal. So um, that's a red flag for me. So I decided to go into learning what these each chemicals are and here's where I want you to listen up. So when I looked up what the chemicals are, they were all toxins. Heavy, heavy chemicals um, and they're really, you know, industrial uh, chemicals. So chemicals that they use in the industrial industry, um, which is super, super scary. Um, you know, and then in my research led me to understand that these most of these chemicals are actually dangerous um, and they're actually labeled as toxins. And the only reason why they're really allowed into our, our products are because it is not FDA regulated. So these products aren't you know, don't have to be tested. Um, most products don't have to, you know, most ingredients that are put into the products don't necessarily have to be labeled on our products. Um, and then us, we have no idea what these chemicals are, so we continue to use them. There is a lack of governmental intervention and, you know, really, um, you know, handling these companies to make sure that they're putting products out there that are actually healthy for our bodies you know so why is this important to you the reason why i went to make these videos this is super important for every single woman men you know i, I focus on women you know particularly in my business I know men, uh, women take care of men in the household and children. So once you, you really deal with women and you help them, you know, educate themselves and learn certain things, I know the whole family, uh, the whole community changes. So my target is women. Um, so that's what I usually address in my videos. But if you're men watching, you are welcome. So why is this important to us women? It is important to us because your skin is your biggest organ on your body and um it is scientifically proven that 60 percent of what you put on your skin right on top of your skin actually goes into your skin 60 percent of it so that deodorant you're putting in your skin 60 percent of it it's like kind of kind of like you're eating it so when you think about harsh chemicals right unnatural and 60 percent is being absorbed to a body and we're like eating it it brings up a lot of red flags these chemicals that we are putting into our body are carcinogenics. They're neurotoxins, and what neurotoxins do is they lead to learning disabilities and behavioral difficulties. Um, 
and uh, they're also they lead to infertility these chemicals and when they're consumed into our body because how toxic they are so we need to really start you know you know taking a stand by you know requiring and demanding for the government to take you know initiative in this but most importantly start taking actions in our day-to-day -day by you know changing our products to more natural based products specifically makeup women are you know the number one consumers of makeup we are uh the consumers of makeup in, in reality so we want to make sure that you know even the makeup that you're using every single day um, because there's small quantities, right, of toxins, but when you're using them every single day, they're very harmful. And I, you know, I said that it's a, you know, most of these chemicals are carcinogenics, and I, I didn't get to specific, specific, uh, specify that that basically means they they lead to cancer. So other things that you know, these ingredients like uh, asbestos, um, lead, carbon black. Uh, uh, tart so all these different chemicals lead uh, scientifically proven that they lead to cancer they lead to hormone dis hormone disruption which is you know big for women because hormones are such a big part of our day um, daily lives infertility as I mentioned birth defects so a lot of our children um, you know when they do uh, toxic and lead and, and chemical tests on our bodies they notice that our you know an average person has a huge um, chemical consumption and what's what's happening specifically for women is because your child is you um child are being born polluted if that makes sense already um from what you are putting into your body then you're pregnant and then it causes to you know come, you know be um leads leads down or you know into your baby which is, is super super unfortunate there's over um, 10,000 chemicals formulated in makeup in specific so makeup is full of them um, you know some some places to to really look into that will help you um, if you're you know I'm not saying <laughs> not to use deodorant I'm not saying um, not to use lotion I'm not saying any of that what I'm saying is these products the bottom line is that these cosmetics skincare products are toxic extremely toxic for your body so as you're you know you're elevating higher you're learning about your body you're learning to take command of your body and your space um, and you you are moving into the space of joy and fulfillment and and being natural and being fully raw in who you are part of it is also reclaiming your body and freeing your body and liberating your body from all these toxins and what you could do is just being more conscious and more aware about what you're putting in your body so not using plant um pantene herbal essence which is like one of the high, um number two i think shampoo in the, um in the country um, because they're they're using super uh, harsh chemicals in them, and they you know this is, this is like a big scientific um, project that we are part of that you don't have to be part of if you decide to be more conscious. So um, some tools, some resources and tools I want to give out is SafeCosmetics.org. Um, their organization that is really helping bring information. So they have different. Um, you can actually look up your products on the website and it'll tell you what is in them and it'll break it down for you for you to know what you're putting into your body. Um, uh, another company is Skin Deep. You can look up Think Dirty and GoodGuy.com. So these are really good uh, websites that can give you more information on, on how to switch over or products that are, you know, um, safe to use. Also, there are so many entrepreneurs in the, I mean, online, all over the place, um, that is using and creating natural products for us. So it's a double win-win. We get to eliminate toxins out of our body, out of our life, out of our children, out of our home, right? Cleaning products is part of this, but we'll focus on skincare products, toxic products out of our house. Um, and we're bringing in healthy products into our life and also helping women thrive, men and women that create natural products like soap, there's lotions, there's body scrubs. So really find people in your local area that is that is creating the stuff, hand making it all with natural products. Um, and really, you know, being intentional about what they're, you know, what they're putting into this product for you. So it's a number one win. So definitely look into that. I think it will um, you know, it would really make a change. Like I, I'm, I'm currently now switching over all my products. Um, and you know, I'll do a one year update and I'll see, and I'll tell you how I feel, but that's definitely something you want to consider for yourself. Think about how to, you know, move away from these chemical, um, 
you know, these very harsh chemicals and move on to, you know, things that are healthier for you, for your body, as you're taking care of yourself and your family and people around you. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to share today. Um, if you are new to the channel, make sure that you click, you subscribe, you give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the information that I shared with you. That is all I ask. Um, and you definitely share the content. Let people know what you've learned. Let the people know about Life Below TV so they can also stay tuned in and you guys can share and grow with each other and grow with me. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate you so much. And I'm so grateful that we get to share and be part of each other's journeys. Um, that is all for me. Make sure that you take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You are the most important person in the whole entire world. So there is nobody, um, you know, that deserves more of your attention, honor, respect, um, and care than you. That is all peace and love. Thank you for tuning in to the end. I love you. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comment, questions, concerns, or anything you want to add on for people to know, please make sure you add it onto the comments. I love you. Okay. I love you. I love you. Take care of yourself. Peace, peace, peace. And thank you so much for choosing to live a life with love. Mwah.